Hi, my name is Kristen Mee, and today I'm going to talk to you about St. Catharines at Bell Gable. St. Catharines at Bell Gable is a lovely and unique cathedral located at 2140 Stone Chapel Lane, Fayetteville, Arkansas, 72704. St. Catharines began in the summer of 1986 and completed 12 years later. The engineer who built this beautiful chapel was Loyal Bonton. He used and had no plans but the stored details in his head during the years the church was under construction. A stained glass window and doors from the churches in England inspired the project so that over the years, stone by stone, an edifice was built around them on the banks of Hamstring Creek. The hammer beam truces supporting the ceilings were taken from large oak trees. The spiral staircase that is on your right in the very back when you walk in was inspired by the chapel of the Sisters of Laredo in Santa Fe, which was built in Pennsylvania. And the pews are from the church in Cape Fair, Missouri. The church is very unique compared to other churches. It is very small and only sits about 40 people at the most. Just behind and a little to the east of the chapel is a barn which Lowell built for his family. You walk in and it is a two-story barn with places to sit, old antiques that were used, and pictures all around. Across from the chapel there was a dam that was designed to provide a lake and a waterfall for the chapel grounds. St. Catharines is a very unique in its own way. It is very material value, just by the stained glass windows and the stones all around the walls that make up the chapel. The hammer bean truces that were taken from large oaks also make it a material value, making the large oaks a precious material St. Catherine's Cathedral is obviously a religious value as well. It has a religious significance when walking into the chapel and pews all around for anyone wishing to pray, and also a cross sitting on a table at the front in the middle making it the first thing you see when you walk in. This church is a symbol of God welcoming worshippers to pray. The church provides a psychological value in a way giving pleasure, peace, and quiet to people when they come. People can become attached to this chapel coming and praying to God or attached by the landscape and venue that is set around the chapel and of course the chapel itself. The architecture of this church is characterized by the church in its large scale and follows one of several branching traditions of form, function, and style that all ultimately derive from the early Christian architectural traditions established in the Constantinian period. The iconography in this church is the cross, the pews, and the Bible are representing God. The church was very simple, a square shape with straight lines and sharp pointers at the top of the church, still showing straightness all around. The green grass, the calm waterfalls and dam, and a river outskirting the church where brightness bringing value of happiness and peace around. Another methodology for St. Catharines is iconology. Knowing that it is a church with stained glass windows and a cross in the front when you enter the church and a Bible next to that all represents and symbolizes God. When you step into the church you feel that you're in the house of God just by the surroundings that are all around you. There are pews and kneelers for people to pray. The chapel is also another methodology of biography and autobiography. Lowell built this chapel for his family, friends, and whoever else to come and worship God. Building this, he is a follower of God and believes and does what he thinks is right in the eyes of God. Building this with his bare hands for happiness to others is similar like God creating the world for happiness. He put everything that a church needs in his church, making sure he would please God in giving this masterpiece to others. St. Catherine's ism is symbolism. The church is a symbol of God. Everything I brought up previous about what the church includes are all symbols leading to God. You come to this place to worship, pray, and talk to God, meaning this is a symbol of God. Lowell both this specifically to have others come and worship God. The stylistic influence of this chapel in context of art history is Gothic architecture. Gothic cathedrals are the greatest and most elaborate monuments in stone, which is exactly what St. Catharines is made out of. The elements of Gothic architecture are rib vaults, piers, flying buttresses, pointed arches, the skeleton, and stained glass windows, all in which St. Catharines has to make is what it is. As you arrive to the chapel, you automatically see the pointed arches. When Lowell built this, he made sure that the rib vaults were added, the piers and the buttresses were there to make the architectural gothic. When you walk inside, you find the stained glass windows that all represent gothic architecture. He had many influences in building this chapel, and they all collided well to bring it to one beautiful masterpiece.